In this tip of the day, I'd like to demonstrate another very versatile feature provided by one CNC, and that's the ability to create custom toolpath to finish 3D solids and surfaces. Now in this example, you can see we have a part. It's kind of a wedge-shaped part with a shallow pocket right here in the center. Well, what I'm going to demonstrate is how we can easily create custom toolpath to machine this fillet right along the perimeter of the pocket. Now, the first step is to create some geometry, and I've saved some time by already doing that on this layer here called Toolpath Geometry Unlinked. Now, it really doesn't matter what you name the layer, but just focus on the geometry itself. Now, what's going to happen here is that this geometry is going to control the center line of the tool. All right, so let's turn our underlying layer back on. That looks good. Quickly head over to our model toolpaths and let's select custom finish. And once we do that, we get this nice little dialog box and this gives us different methods for selecting this geometry. In this video, I'm going to give you a couple of examples. Let's start with layer. Layer gives us the ability to select this geometry by layer. If I click here, here's all the different available layers. We're going to choose this one here called toolpath geometry unlinked. We'll click OK to that. Once we do that, we're going to define the tool. I'm quite happy with this half inch diameter ball end mill. Speeds and feeds look great, so let's click next on that. Our clearances and depths look very good. We'll click next on that. Here we have engrave amount. If you specify a value, the actual tool will cut a little bit deeper. You can also leave material for finish by using the leave for finish command. And then there's also surface tolerance. The default is going to be two tenths, which is perfect for this example. So let's click next on that. And this is our boundary box. This helps contain the tool path. Let's click finish on that. And here we go. So here's what happened. One CNC has taken the ball in mill. It's driven it on this 2D geometry and then taken the tool path and projected it on the underlying 3D geometry below it. This 3D geometry again can be solids or surfaces or really a combination of both which makes it very versatile and powerful. Let's quickly preview this. I'm going to right hand mouse click, select preview tool path and here we go. Now the first thing I want to point out is that the tool path is starting from the outside and moving toward the inside. Whenever you select geometry by layer, remember that the toolpath is going to machine that geometry in the exact same order that that geometry was created. You can create any shape geometry that you'd like, but remember that the toolpath direction is going to machine in the order that the geometry was created. Very, very nice. Let me give you another quick example. Let's turn this layer off. Let's turn our other layer on here called toolpath linked. Hit the spacebar twice, quickly go into a top view, and and you can see I've done a little bit of editing here and I've linked all that geometry together. All right, now the reason why I'm doing this is I want to show you that you can select the geometry by picking the geometry instead of by picking by layer. Let's turn the underlying 3D geometry back on back over here into our custom finish command. This time we're going to use this option here called pick. We'll click OK. I'm going to zoom in and now I'm going to pick the geometry that I'd like to machine and I'm also going to select the direction there. The other nice thing about this is the actual direction that you select the geometry of course is going to control the direction of the toolpath. So there's another added benefit there. We're going to use the same tool parameters, same speeds and feeds, same clearances and depths. All this looks great. We'll click next on that. This looks good. We'll click finish. There's our tool path. It gets projected down onto that 3D geometry. And let's quickly preview this. Let's head over here, go into preview tool path. And here we go. Now, because I created that special linked geometry, now I'm controlling that tool path to be more of a zigzag pattern. This is a very versatile and powerful command provided by one. CNC. Thank you so much for watching this tip of the day and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.